Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel. Today I'm gonna to be talking about four books that either were awarded or were the runners up for the Asian Pacific American Award for Literature. Um, I wanted to do both the fiction and the nonfiction books. However, nonfiction books tend to be very expensive. Um, so instead, I just did two years of the fiction book that received the award as well as the runner up. The winner of the 2019-2020 award is um, The Atlas of Reds and Blues by Debbie S. Laskar. I have really never read anything like this. The book opens with a woman lying in her driveway after being shot by the police in the United States and it kind of follows her going in and out of consciousness and revisiting experiences of racial discrimination and profiling throughout her life. She's the daughter of Bengali immigrants and is constantly asked uh, the question, where are you really from? When I first started, I found it confusing. Um, oh no, she just got her nasty nose all over my book. Ew, gross. <laughs> You're nasty, look what you did. When I first started reading it, um, it took me a little bit to get into what was going on because some of the, um, for example, they all, all the new sections start with and, so you can see how it's just like a compilation of these um, experiences of micro and macro aggressions of um, different experiences with racism from childhood when children told her that it didn't rub off when they touched her skin as if she were dirty or that underneath she should be white leading up to her adulthood uh, living in a suburban cul-de-sac where people assume she couldn't live there um, and that she didn't belong. The book also leaves a lot unanswered. You don't really know why she's in this situation and it also doesn't really matter. Um, what matters is that the police response to her was overly aggressive um, and should have been avoided to this point. Something I thought was really interesting is references to Barbies throughout the novel. She kind of follows how Barbie, how Mattel, Mattel Barbies have ch attempted to change with the times um, and been inclusive of some but exclusive of others. And how as a child she loved playing with dolls but there was never one that looked like her. In this novel, names are purposefully omitted. We don't know the name of um, the main character or of her sibling or her mother. They're just called um, the real thing or baby sister. I also love the story of the German Shepherd that she rescues. Um, they have such a beautiful relationship and I love how important her relationship with her dog is throughout the book. This is a very moving book that also left out many details, which seemed very purposeful in situations of police violence or of racial profiling. I think this was very brilliantly written and I really enjoy it. The honor title for the 2019-2020 award was On Earth We're Briefly Gorgeous by Ocean Vong, which I was surprised by actually because I've heard so much more about that book than I have uh, The Alice of Reds and Blues. I think the title On Earth We're Briefly Gorgeous is so beautiful. This is such an incredible title. Ocean Vong is generally a poet, I gather, and I think you really see that in the novel. Some of it is kind of disconnected or little snippets. Um, very beautiful writing that you kind of find in poetry. This book is kind of a letter to Ocean's mother who does not um, speak English, who does not read English, and discusses the author's upbringing and how their relationship with their mother was very different from um, the relationship that they saw their Western peers having with their own mothers. In On Earth We're Briefly Gorgeous, references are often made to Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods, for example, is um, has African-American, white, Chinese, and Thai ancestry. Um, but in the media, we often don't hear about the Asian ancestry he has. The author also discusses being gay and his first relationship an ocean regularly references this dynamic of Tiger Woods' identity. I have really mixed feelings about On Earth We're Briefly Gorgeous. 
I thought it was interesting that it was kind of written to his mother, who obviously is unable to read it. It read like a form of therapy that through writing this, the author had some closure and was able to explore some of the instances of life that at the time they didn't understand. And some of the sections really read like poetry and then felt a bit disconnected from others. Moving on to the 2020-2021 winners and runner-up, How Much of These Hills is Gold by Sipam Zhang. The story takes place during a gold rush in the United States, which is a time period I don't think I have ever read much about. The children's parents are prospectors um, who are looking for gold and they kind of move the children and the family about as uh, they hear about different mines, different gold being found. When the children are left as orphans, they just take a horse um, and their father's body and disappear into the, the wild west, essentially. They are determined to give their father a proper burial um, and this becomes a point of tension and conflict between the siblings. The children's father was born in the United States, whereas their mother came from a land that she never, she tells them once and they forget the name of it. They are discriminated against um, based on their racial background, their lack of money, um, how they speak, how they look. This book has a very interesting discussion of um, gender identity as a child. People often try to make it sound like uh, discussions about gender identity are a new thing, um, but they are absolutely not. And I liked that this was included in a book that was set in um, the 1800s. I really enjoyed this book, honestly more than I thought I would, because it was told from the perspective of children, and generally that's not really my thing, but it was incredible. I liked how it was so honest from the view of a child, um, for example, forgetting the word that is your nationality or the country that your uh, parents came from, and just this like raw honesty and child, child innocence even when the world is against them. And finally, we have a collection of short stories. Um, this is the 2020-2021 honor title, and it is um, How to Pronounce Knife by Suvankam Thamavongsa. Um, this is incredible. <laughs> it takes me ages to read collections of short stories because I often like to sit down and read for a couple hours and with short stories I think I always need some time between each story. In this case, each story was so incredibly different from the last one that I had no issues <laughs> continuing to read each one. All of the stories are about um, refugees, immigrants who live in the United States. Um, generally from Laos. The title, How to Pronounce Knife, is um, off the first story about a girl who is practicing her reading at home and asks her father how to pronounce knife and he reads it out phonetically as K knife. And when she reads it like that in school the next day, her teacher kind of ridicules her and the other students rid ridicule her, which is just unacceptable. Um, but she really stands her ground and she knows that her father uh, was helping her and she doesn't shame her father as always with short stories i wish that some of these were longer um, because i love the characters the author did an incredible job forming such well-rounded characters in so few pages um, so yeah i really enjoyed this one as well i hope you enjoyed this video on four books that were either the winners or the runners up to the asian pacific american award for literature uh, in fiction specifically they gave me a taste of different writing styles than I'm used to. I really enjoyed these three, um, Atlas, The Alice of Reds and Blues, How Much of These Hills of Gold, and How to Pronounce Knife. Um, I'm not unsure about On Earth We're Briefly Gorgeous. I think it was worth reading, but I don't think it's for everyone. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you soon. Bye. What a beautiful cover, like the way the light reflects off the gold. <laughs>